Hello farmers and welcome back to the Let's Play Farming Simulator 2013 on the MLG map. So, we are back here. I filled up the silo to 11%. That took a while with a little forge harvester, but it didn't help that the fields wasn't fertilized. But, you know, it was the fields that we were starting up with, so, or some of them anyway. It was cornfields, so, yeah. Hopefully we'll get the, I'm thinking for this stuff here, try to get a um, new combine and then after the harvest I will see if we can get a new forge harvester. So new combine would be, would be cool. Oh, we have to see how much money we're going to pull out of this. I'm guessing a minimum 215,000, 216 maybe. Since we're on easy, but we have to see. As well I can... Show you folks here see New Holland. I put on an extra trailer because I was trying to finish off the um the cornfield up here. I didn't nearly finish it, but I'm not gonna bother getting that stuff. So as you folks can see, six as well, nearly. Just those few bits and bobs around here, but I'm not gonna bother. So yeah. That's that. Jump into the um, Valtra Valmet here. As well, I have a um, greenish color. This bucket here is not the in game bucket, it's a modified version of it. It came with whatever map, I can't remember which map it was, but one of the maps that I have it came with, I remember. But it's a 5 times liter bucket, a bit unrealistic since it's not any bigger than uh, any of the in game. Well, I thought I was going to buy it. It only cost a thousand dollars as well. I just thought I was going to buy that and use that on the Valtra Valmet since I don't have any any um, put on the four wheel drive. I, I don't have any um, wheel loaders bought yet because I don't have the money. So I decided, well, let's go with the biggest bucket I know for the front loader. As well, at Walter, we're going to get this last task. I'm not going to do all of um, all of um, the emptying of the bunker here, but we can do a bit of it on camera here. On the beacon. And as well, the weather in here looks kind of like it does outside right now. And something else, it was a quite big thunderstorm here. On uh, Saturday it was, I think. Uh, quite interesting. One of the worst I have I have seen here in Norway, anyway. So yeah, that was uh, not too nice. Uh, well, yeah, not very nice. It broke a few things. So oh well. I think those things are fixed now anyway. But yeah, that was. Um, and as well, it comes some serious amount of rain as well that day. When it was thundering and stuff like that. I think it went for a an hour or something. Crazy. Okay. So, blanket this. Don't know how the blanket looks on these silos because I've not tried them before. Okay, black, that's fine. One percent. Gonna shut down this fella. There we go. Cheating, right? <laughs> uh where's the I hate I can walk through the silos. That's one thing I wish I couldn't. Really. Salos would be nice if they were solid, but okay. Let's see here, it's quite nice to have four, uh, three different, sorry, three different bunkers. Don't know why I said four, but oh well. I'm not 100% sure how much these fellas take, but that's 5,000. If they were the similar as the in game, it's the whole 50,000. That could be. 
let's see. That's probably a got above ten thousand per bucket. Okay. It's a double then. Well, that's um, great news. You nearly buy a reloader now. Huh. So let's go and buy a reloader. I'm not a hundred percent sure if that will fit here. That's the other problem. I think the big reloaders that I want doesn't fit there. Hmm. It's gonna be interesting, but oh well. I guess they usually use tractors for these. I don't know. Well, at least they have ultra. Barely fits. No, it's not a lot of space around here. A reloader. It's a bit wider than this tractor, I'm pretty damn sure, so. Hmm. Oh well. I'll start to run this for now then. And to see later on. But we're nearly at 100,000. So we have. Quite easily earned about 50,000 already. So that's not bad. So, mm hmm, that's good. I have 100,000. I'm thinking they can buy, and they're gonna buy. Because I think a forge harvester might be affordable after the harvest. If I do a good job of fertilizing. I still haven't started cultivating anything like that because I have to fertilize. But I decided I wanted to um, finish off the um, the chaffing here and get ready to start emptying the bunker. Anyway, I guess I can talk a little bit about that thunderstorm that we had. So we usually don't have very uh, big and heavy thunderstorms around here. I live here in Norway, so usually, of course, the most of them are in the summertime since the weather is a bit more unstable then, so warm and stuff like that. But, but yeah, it's been quite bad. It was quite a bad uh, thunderstorm that was. Haven't haven't been any since. This doesn't seem like it's any bad weather up there right now. So a bit grey clouds, but hopefully gonna be fine. Just gonna hope. But yeah, we don't usually have too bad thunderstorms, any big ones. You know, where you can see properly the lightning strikes and everything. That's not usually what you see. You see the blinking in the sky of the lights, but on Saturday it was, you could quite clearly see those uh, lightning strikes hit the mountains, or the small mountains around here. But didn't see it catch anything on fire though, but cl could clearly see him. See the lightning strikes. And as well, it was raining as nobody's business. So you nearly think you needed a boat to get around for, for, a, few, for a few minutes there. As well, if some of you have seen the first slow mo video, uh, there's a barn there. Or I walk in and turn off the light off, something like that. If I don't remember wrong, at least in that barn, that, that's where we was, um, because one of those electrical boxes things that's supposed to control the electricity and get knocked out if something is wrong and something like that. Those kind of electrician boxes things. <laughs> one of those things inside there blew the blew up pieces. So that was uh, not nice either. I don't know what I'm supposed to call it because I don't know the English name. But 
at least uh, one of those things inside there. You know, so you have them in tractors as well, different type, but this in tractors as well to protect the electronics if something's supposed to go wrong or something like that. But yeah, one of those things blew up pieces in the barn or catch on fire or something like that. We have some quite old stuff in in the barn though, since it's from early 80s, I think. So yeah, that was not too fun. And then we was in there to see if we can fix it and stuff like that. And then it started tendering as nobody's business because right before then it was started a bit but it was stopped for a little while there just one big one right before okay we are full here I didn't count how many boxes I put inside didn't pay attention but okay that one is full let's go and fill up the next one but yeah so back to the tender storm <coughs> So, I had a few lightning strikes early that day, but I had one big one I really could really hear. And after that, it kind of wasn't anything for a bit. And then we uh, went down to see if everything was alright in the barn and stuff like that, because usually the power gets knocked out if it's lightning strikes quite easily. But it it was knocked out and one of those um, the main thing was knocked out and one of the other things was knocked out so we really made a video of that <laughs> to show you folks so very interesting to see something actually burnt inside there so that's something we have to get new well I did ele electrician guy did fix it but um, but you know we want a new completely whole new box for that stuff because that old one there is not safe when if it's a too big lightning strike it nearly catches on fire instead of just shut down all the power for the barn instead it catches on fire I don't know but yeah it was not too nice and while it was in there it was starting thunder again and lightning strikes and it started raining it really really rained quite hard for, for a few minutes maybe 10 to 15 minutes so yeah that was not fun either I should really record some of that because I'm not really used to that kind of weather especially that rain so I used to rain but not that heavy at once could barely open the door of the barn there and not get washed away <coughs> it felt like anyway but yeah that's the thunderstorm that we had sorry I couldn't explain everything too well because I don't know all the English names of stuff but oh well there's not too much I can do about that okay we have 236,000 Well, that's not bad. Nearly enough money to buy a combine. I'm thinking to pick up the um, titanium add-on case. And then later on, maybe the um, John Deere. But I think I will pick up the case harvester. Because I can get the um, multi-fruit mod add-on thing. can't remember the exact name of it. But I can get that, and I know that works on the titanium add-on and in-game. can't remember if it works on mods as well. I don't know, but it should at least work on that. So that means I can get one of those combines. So that means they can harvest absolutely everything on this map. That should be able to be combined. You know, it would not be the right textures in the tank, but... I think our current combine doesn't do that either. But it's made for different fruits, but it doesn't really change too much textures, it doesn't seem like anyway. But that kind of 
I don't need a new harvester. I'm kind of bored of that one we have. Had it for so, such a long time. It could be nice for with that change. It's a good harvester though. I think we'll pick up one of the cases to get a new brand on the farm instead of keeping instead of switching it out for Klaus or John Deere because not 100% of, of those uh, Kanbans will actually be affected by the multi fruit script multi fruit add on thing so not 100% sure on that that's why I think I would buy one of the mm, either the tracked case Axial flow or the uh, dual wheel one, have to see with the 30 meter head. Then, after that, later on, when we're gonna have another camera, I think I will buy one of the John Deere's. Maybe if you're gonna have three cameras, I might have the class as well, the Terra Track, or the um. 770 with no terror tracks. I don't know yet, but anyway, that's for later date. Of course, our goal as well is to get a forge harvester. Hopefully, we get that. But the money we're earning here for just for 10% of those silos. I can't surprise Tana. You've done the whole silo <laughs> on camera. Whoops, but well. Continue a bit here, but I think we'll end off. I'll pause it. I want my bucket, and I think we'll pause it and take the rest. We'll be nearly 300,000. That went quick. Yep, 300,000. Just gonna check now. But the combine cost like three hundred and something. <coughs> what? Oh, I skipped it. Awesome. Um, let's see. Three twenty nine or three twenty five. I kind of like that one the best because I like the. Um, I like the dual wheels quite a lot. I might get a terra track. Hmm, have to see. But well, anyway, now we continue here. And I will come back while we are nearly done. So see you soon. Hello farmers, we are back. So empty the um, nearly empty the salvo now. I guess one full and a little bit bucket left. As well, I figured out it's quite efficient with whoa. I figured out it's quite efficient with these uh, three bunkers. Quite nice. There we go, a little bit left, so I have to take. Because if not, we're not going to be able to fill it again. But we have a little bit over half a million dollars, dollars there, so that's awesome. Let's take the last bit to see how much we're going to get. Maybe 2,000. Maybe a little bit more, maybe 3,000 of that, of this, so it should be about 560,000, give or take there, I hope anyway. Let's see. There we go. So, we started with $47,000, and now we have 561,000. Of emptying 11% of that silo. So, we have a lot of money. That's awesome. I'm really re wondering if I can buy two, uh, two things I want. Don't think so, though. 
But anyway, let's save before I do something stupid. So I want to see now by the harvester. I will install the. I still haven't tried out the uh, multi fruit script mod that allows you to have. allows the in game entertainment and stuff like that to accept. And the multi fruit stuff on maps. But I don't know if it works on the mod, so I think I'm just gonna buy this fella and later on buy the John Deere or buy the John Deere harvesters, I think. Well, let's buy this harvester brings us down quite a bit as well we want the header but I don't want the uh, camera that we currently have anymore don't need two harvesters for the minute so it's gonna sell that there's no sell point on this map but a sell point for vehicles so it's gonna sell it like this It's something more I want to sell. Let's gonna check here if I found anything. Oh yes, this um, manure spreader and the slurry tanker. The slurry tanker we don't need because we have a bigger slurry tanker. I can go in the Berg Bergman manure spreader. I want the bigger manure spreader, so it's gonna sell that. Okay, I think that's that. So, nearly at 300,000. Let's um, park our new combine. I bought the um, dual wheel version, so I kind of like that. I like the dual wheels. Quite like the titanium stuff here. A huge pipe on this fella here. But I think it's a quite nice harvester. As well as yeah, a lot of people using well I guess a few people using these guys as well, but a lot of people are using the either the class seven seventy terra track or seven eighty or seven eighty I mean. So I wanna use this fella here. I'm glad I can clip through most of the building. Uh, uh, Heather is a bit bigger than the other one. But oh well. The cam one is a bit cam one is a bit wider as well. I might actually have to find a new place to park this. Yeah, it will not fit in real life. Let's see here. How close are we? I can still back it up a bit. Oh, here we go. There we go. So we got our new combine as well, the new header. Have to go and get the um, multi fruit script now. Hopefully I remember that before the next episode, but I think that's that for this time. I don't know how long this video got, but there's not too much more to do here for this time anyway. I have to slurry the fields and the fertil and uh, fertilize slurry, <laughs> fertilize the field, cultivate them and replant. But as I said last time, you can comment if you want if anything. You want me to plant, but as well I have to check that the multi fruit script works, so on the combine. So I have to go and test that I suppose. Well anyway, at least do some slurry spreading and stuff like that. If is there anything like that you want to see, you can comment that if you want to see me prepare the fields, but don't think really. <laughs> that the funnest thing to watch I suppose. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'll see you folks all soon. Hopefully enjoy this. Mostly bar gas emptying a bunker this time. But hopefully after, um, uh, hopefully when I come back, I'm going to start harvesting. 
after the harvest we might have enough money for a big forge harvester that's the goal anyway but i'll see you all soon have a nice day bye